Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the very first uh, video in a long list of videos to come. Uh, coding with Lord Icon. Uh, in my gaming video, uh, Project Day Zone 3, I think it was um, my number 3 video, I mentioned uh, making a dynamic signature uh, like this one here. Um, this is a form signature for gaming. Uh, not many people use forms anymore um, for their gaming and stuff, but some some people still do. There's some networks out there and some gaming communities uh, that have forums installed on their web pages, and uh, this is a great way uh, to display a signature. Uh, this one, for instance, is for Minecraft, um, for the Mind Your Mind network. Uh, it's my personal signature that I've been using. I do need to change the character out on this sometime soon. Um, however, this has my display name, my uh, character name. Uh, it has the account off session uh, majong.com and minecraft.com uh, server status. So it literally will check the server status. Uh, if they're online, it'll display all online. This is uh, live, by the way, so you can see the uh, it is online. Um, if there's an issue with the server, it'll have a uh, yellow text saying issue. Uh, if the servers are offline, it'll have red text saying offline. Um, this over here is the player status in this corner. Uh, it actually uh, takes a table on this network's um, website uh, and it, it digs down and it grabs uh, the total amount of players that are actually currently connected to the server. Okay, so let me uh, see if I can pull that up real quick and I'll show it to you. <clears throat> Let's just take one second here. Uh, it was this one, uh, but this is their server. This is their server status page here. Um, but over here, it has a column of players. Uh, this is for every server that they have. They have Age of Engineering, uh, Agerian Skies, uh, Beyond, B Team, Crack Pack, Crash Landing. What is this one? Crumby Craft, Dire Wolf. Uh, Enigma, I mean, so many different servers on this network. Um, just so many players are actually in the server currently. Uh, not many yet. There will be more later. Uh, it usually gets uh, better in the evenings. Uh, but what this, uh, what this signature does right here uh, is it actually totals up uh, total players in this column. Um, and it adds it up, and then it displays it. So that is what... Um, this little function here does uh, and why it works the way it does. I'll show you the code for all this in a minute. Um, in order to get this to work you do have to have uh, a web hosting company or something that you can upload this to or you can do it to your local host um, and then make it go make it public and people just can connect to it all the time. Uh, and you can do that with like programs such as uh, Examp. Uh, it has Apache, uh, MariaDB, uh, PHP, and Perl. And I think it does SQL as well. Uh, but you can go to uh, Examp and uh, download it for Windows or Linux or uh, what is it? O OS X. I guess that's Apple. Um, I use the Windows version. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and download it. Uh, I'm not going to show you a video of how to install this and set it up to run your own web host off your PC. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you that. Uh, instead, I'm going to go ahead and get into the coding aspect of this. Uh, but I use Dreamweaver here. And uh, I'm not going to actually show you the actual coding. I'm going to show you um, the code and explain it as I go. And you can just write it out, copy it, uh, whatever. I'm going to put a zip file in the description, a link to uh, Google Drive, uh, shareable. Uh, that way you can just download it and check it out and, and use it if you want. I change it up to suit you, though. Don't use mine. Um, anyway, get to this. Uh, Change that. Well, it don't matter. You already seen it. it don't 
doesn't matter. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and change it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get right to this. Um, this is the code I'm using here. Uh, the very first thing I did in this is I put the header at the top uh, and I made it uh, content type image PNG. And what this does is it kind of fools the browser. Uh, the browser will read this code and it'll be um, it'll think that the code is an actual image. If I was to literally take this out, uh, let me actually put my information back in here. Let's go like that because I couldn't remember what my information was there. Okay, so if I was to take that out um, and upload this, give me one second here, let it connect. Alright, so if I was to upload that, and then I was to refresh this page, this is the gibberish you would get without that header. Um, and and we're, we don't want that, because this is trying to read the PHP code directly, and we're getting a bunch of scrambled uh, characters here. I mean, this isn't what we want. So we always want to make sure we include this header so that it actually displays correctly. And there it is. Okay, so that's the very first thing. Uh, the very next thing I did was uh, I wanted some background, some kind of a graphic. Uh, let me pull that up. Uh, example, example, example. I'm in example. Uh, HT docs signature. Okay, so. Here are my graphics. Let me actually, mm, actually large. This doesn't look right, does it? All right, so let's leave it the way it is. Here, here, here's the graphics. I'll just open it up, browse through them. These are the defaults that I use. The graphic is pre-made. I'll include the PSD file for Photoshop for this. Um, so this is the graphics. The only thing you're putting in here is the auth and the um, the player count. Um, the rest of it is like this. I mean, it's simple. Um, this one's another one, another one, another one, another one. Um, the reason why I have, what was it, five of them is because there are five of them in this array. Um, and this array works because uh, it calls on the array random. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the background here. Uh, the variable um, anyways it'll call in the variable uh, random for array random which means that pretty much this is going to display randomly uh, every time you refresh the page one of these five images will pop up um, it does, don't know which one it will be I'm not setting it to be specific ones um, it's going to be completely random so every time it, it's just going to randomize which one Okay, the very next thing is uh, very important. Um, this is this section right here. It's going to be your URL. Okay, uh, this is very important. You got to make sure you set this directly to your uh, public folder. Uh, it has to be your public folder um, for your web host. Um, this is mine here, this is behind the scenes, and then this would be my my main domain. Uh, and then this would be sig.png. This is the folder that I have it in. Uh, I actually named the folder sig.png. So when I type it in the browser, uh, you can see up here I have it on my personal web host. Uh, I actually go to sig.png, which pulls up this index dot php file okay the next thing is our colors uh, i have four variables here a uh, yellow white green 
and red. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, yellow, white, green, and then red, and another yellow is the online and offline status. Okay, so these are mainly your colors. Uh, you can set your colors here. You can change this to whatever color you want. Um, change the variables around, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, let's see, your this is my players currently online currently. Um, this variable here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is where it says here players, if I'm not mistaken. And that's why that's there. And then this is online. Yes. And it's right there. Um, as you can see here, I have uh, image string, image. And then this is the location of the image, like with the positioning that I want. So let's say I change uh, this to a 6, from 30, 33 to 63. Okay, and I save it. Upload it. Now, when I refresh this page, players should move. And it moved over to the right side. Okay, so you're going to have to play around with it, figure out the positioning. Um, re upload that because I don't want to be messed up on the forms. Um, play around with these for your positioning. Uh, this is, like I said, this is for the text players, this is for the text online. Uh, right here, these. Refresh that again. There we go. It's fixed. Okay, and that is all this does. This little piece of code only shows these two fonts, players and online, and puts them in the color yellow. Um, as you can see, this is players online, which is right here, this variable players. Uh, yellow font, which is this variable right here for a yellow color. Okay, and then the next thing I have here, okay, this is the statistics page I showed you this a minute ago but this is the back-end version I guess I think it's a bigger version yeah it's a zoomed out version you might as well say um, that has all the stats okay um, and and what this is doing is it's, it's reading it as um, as a table okay and it's, it's taking the table apart and it's actually finding what's inside of each of these uh, TDs, uh, each, each, uh, is it column? Column or row. Okay, so it, anyways, it's, it's finding each one. Uh, it's doing a count on them. It's adding them up. And then it's starting to display them. Uh, so this is where our total is, the array sum of it, uh, for players. Okay, so players would be... I should have left that up. Players would be this row right here where it says players. So it's actually reading that row and it's getting the sum of it. And it's outputting the total right here. Okay, I see players total dash 512. Because I believe 512 is the max in total that you can have on every server or something like that. Okay, so this is where this image actually comes in. Okay, so this variable is right here. Okay, so that is this variable. Okay, 79, right there. Okay, and then the font is the white font that we have up here at the top. That's that variable there. So we have a white font with players in this location, which isn't too far off. Um, from this location up here because I wanted it right below okay and that is that one uh, and that's how that one works um, there's a lot more to it I don't want to get into detail with all the code like I said you can uh, check out my files and you can figure out the code yourself or, or google it uh, see what's going on here with the string replace and, and break it down uh, yourself I don't, I don't want to have like a super long video uh, that's why I'm just showing you little bits of what I've done, and then you can go ahead and change it to your liking. Okay, this one here, I'm actually using JSON. Um, and this gets the file contents. 
of this, which is Mahjong's server status link. Okay, that's the Minecraft server status link. As you can see, it's in JSON uh, format. So all I had to do is break it down. Um, right now, you can see how it all says it's green, 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 all the way across. Anything that says it's green is good to go. Uh, it'll say yellow for issues, and it'll say red uh, in these spots if, if these servers have uh, are down. Okay, so I just took that information, and I gathered the data from it. Uh, as you can see here, data type 2, account, majong.com. Uh, three was auth server, one was session, uh, seven was mahjong.com, and zero was minecraft.net. Um, but I went ahead and I added variables for those. Okay, and I started making my images uh, down here. Okay, uh, I also made some more variables for account, auth, session, and such and such, and online issues and offline. Okay, so as you can see, account, all session, Mahjong, Minecraft.net. Uh, that's what these are here in white. Okay, those are just text. That's all it is. Uh, as you can see, this is account text. So this is just a white font. This is just a white font and so on. All the way down, white fonts. That's all it is. Um, the ones that are important are... Uh, online here okay issues and offline uh, they're actually right here online issues offline okay each of these for the account server auth server session server mahjong.com minecraft.net etc uh, they all have three each one for online one for issues and one for off uh, as you can see there's an if statement for each one of them and the reason for that is right here uh, account this variable if the account equals green which I mentioned it a minute ago in this JSON it says green okay well actually the account one is uh, what is it? it's this one here I believe alright so if the account says green um, we'll perform this action okay and that just adds the green font and says online okay that's all that is it says online in a green font okay if account equals yellow so if this was to say yellow on here um, this stays the same it doesn't change ever uh, but this will change to a new variable which will be issue with the yellow font uh, same for the uh, offline or if it's red so if the count equals red uh, it's gonna say offline and it's gonna have a red font and that's just an if a basic if statement um, that I'm using JSON with I'm pulling the data with JSON and I'm implementing it into this if statement to check and see what color it is in that uh, on that page on the status check okay so if it's a uh, whatever color it changes these up and it's as simple as that three simple if statements um, I could have done this a little simpler I uh, changed it around a little bit and made the code cleaner uh, but I didn't um, so all these do the exact same thing they're if statements and they pull that information uh, off text is which one is it here I think it's uh, is it that one why is my off different here? Let's see. Account text. Oh, wait, I'm up here. Account, off, session. There's account, there's off, there's session. Mahjong text, and, or wait a minute. Mahjong and then Minecraft will be the next ones. Mahjong, Minecraft. Okay, so all of them are there. Uh, that's for the, uh, the data, for the data pool with the JSON. Um, this is just font, it's just text. Uh, as you can see, they're all here account text, auth text, session text, Mahjong text, Minecraft text. 
Uh, and of course we have our colors uh, behind it, white and green and yellow and red, all the way down. All right, so the bottom of this file uh, is important because this here is what takes all of this and changes it into an image. Okay, so image PNG image. Okay, so that pulls it all together. Um, then after it's pulled together and displayed, we want the image destroy. Always add this. You don't want this stuck in memory. Destroy it. Make sure that code's in there. Okay, so that is all this code and how it's how it works pretty much. It, it's just displaying uh, live feeds from like JSON or some other means to um, the signature. Okay, and like I said, the background is pre-made. All I'm doing is adding these little boxes here with the actual data and then changing the backgrounds on the um, one refresh of the page. Ah, another very important thing, and this is one of the most important things. If you upload this to uh, a web server, you have to make sure that F open is active. Uh, you can use uh, this PHP check that I included in my file. Um, upload it to your server. It'll check your PHP INI file and see if allow URL F open is. Uh, enabled or disabled okay you want this enabled allow URL F open uh, if it is not enabled on your web host you, you can either change it yourself if you have access uh, in the PHP INI file or you can have your your web host change it for you um, usually you contact web host will do it some are very hesitant they say it's unsafe um, I've never had issues with it uh, having it open um, but most servers have it disabled. Uh, but you want to make sure it is enabled. And I believe, I believe, let me check something real quick. Go on to my, my domain real quick. I want to see uh, my .ht access file. Because um, I think I have one. For my host, let's have a look. I have one in here. No, I do have the INI file in here, though. Uh, we can go ahead and edit that and have a look at it. Uh, as you can see, in my INI, I have uh, allow URL F open one. Okay, and I even have include on, which a lot of them already have that on. Uh, but it's the uh, F open you want to enable. Um, let's check our main. Okay, let's see. See, there's a mod rewrite, rewrite rule or something. There we go. Um, in my .ht access file, I do have uh, PHP value for PHP 7 module um, to allow URL F open. Um, I can't remember why I added it in the HT access. I think the, the host was having issues with actually getting it active, so we added it here. Uh, this is something you can think about or do. Okay. Um, it might help you if, you if you're having issues and you can't figure out why it's not uh, connecting. Right, let's see. Besides that, I have another. I don't know if I included that test file in there or not. Let me see if I can open that real quick. Let's see. I don't think I included it, but I want to check because that test file is nothing. I uh, know. It's just the. Uh, the PSD for Photoshop, which will allow you to make these images here and change it however you want. Uh, the index and the PHP checker. Uh, if I open Photoshop up here, I'll show you what this PSD looks like. Come on, open up. Get everything running on this PC and now it's, it's just sluggish. Okay, so I have all the files over here on the right. 
Um, this is the images uh, you can actually take in. You play, let's say, uh, you want to change the character on there. You can actually take and change him. Uh, you can change these images out completely if you want. Don't use them. Uh, that's up to you. Um, if you want to get rid of the opacity, you can just take that off. Uh, the text, same thing. You can change that out. Do whatever you want with that. Uh, your name, you can actually type your name in there. I don't want to name that play name. Oh well. Uh, the border, the border is a uh, border going around it. You can see it going off and on there. Uh, then there's a white background. You can try transparency. I've been, I was having issues with the transparency, so I just made it a white background because most forms are white. Um, but you can always take and get the, let's say the, the form is uh, black or blue or green. Uh, you can always take and get the color of the form uh, and substitute this background with that color of the form. That way it at least looks like it's uh, got a transparent background, even though it doesn't. Okay, and that is that. Uh, did I miss anything? Let's see. Um... The download link is going to be in the draw in the uh, in the comments down there below the video. Um, I do want you guys to uh, like this video, uh, subscribe if it kind of helps you out a little bit. Um, I will try to edit this so you can best see this text as good as possible. Uh, so like the video, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell, and. Um, I want to wish you guys good coding trips and and happy gaming and and uh, come back and check out some of my later videos. Check out some of my gaming videos, uh, and y'all have a a wonderful day.